check out this. For eons, I have governed heaven Mammals. and earth. Man or God, each is hurt. Their anger, their pain, and in their time of need, I rise. So when the day comes that they ascend to the heavens, the rewards that await are not of silver or gold, but jade. Ese era un... Me da una mala espina, guío. Emperor is in complete control of uh, the Dao and making sure that he is just ready to go at a moment's notice. I, I want that back piece, like, as a center... I, on the set, a center piece on the... That's so <laughs> really bien, eh? That would be sick. That would be really sick. That's incredible. <laughs> Let's see the kit. Let's do it. Run the kit. It's all coming together. Fighting <laughs> alongside yeah. with the dragon. Yeah. So many How that works is you've got 12 segments in this passive meter. Yeah. Once you hit six segments, which you can gain and lose doll by doing various things, your abilities and basic attacks become attuned. He becomes attuned to the doll. Uh, so there is a lot of different effects that you'll see throughout the kit that change whether or not you are uh, attuned. Uh, and the first one of those effects has to do with his basic attack. So. Esto que va a, a, a básico, que o todo lo run de esto, o qué? Oye, qué pereza, cabrón. ¡Hostias! Pero está guapo, ¿eh? ¿Esos son tres ahora? No jodas. There's, this is a brand new shape. Never seen the shape before. Ooh. It's got an X and a circle. So you can see here with this targeter, the first thing that's going to happen is where all those arrows are on that X. Yeah. You're going to have cinders spawn there, and those are going to be pretty nice pillars of flame. They're going to all collide together in the center, and when that happens, there's a big explosion, and then a field of fire right in that center circle area. And the symbol of the phoenix. And the phoenix. I was about to say, pops up right in the center. Yeah, so that actually lets you know when the ability is attuned. So if you were really? to ever get above six spell, when you fire it, an enemy will know that it has been attuned when you see that phoenix. So normally, no phoenix attuned, there is a phoenix in there. Got and it. to kind of talk a little bit more about how the damage is broken down on this one, if you take, uh, if you get hit by the projectile of the cinders coming to the center, that's a little bit of damage. There's an explosion coming from the, uh, when all of them collide. And then there's a burn coming from that field of flame. And if you're attuned, you'll also have your magical protections reduced. Yes, yeah, so if you step into that explosion, uh, the explosion damage is what is actually doing the protection reduction. If you are just in the burn and you don't get hit by that initial explosion, your protections are just the same. Got it, yeah. And it, 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 it's Va a bajar protecciones. Está bien. Pero bueno, el uno de Ra es un, es un rayo para adelante. Yeah. Uh, there are, again, still more ways to get back Dao. So if you happen to be weaving in basic attacks, staying in and out of combat, uh, and doing those kind of actions, you can get to, you know, three abilities enhanced during a fight. It just really depends on the player that's going to be doing it and how yeah. well they've mastered attuning to the Dao. <laughs> I, I love when the, the theme of the actual god plays in the kit so much. And that'll be really cool to see both in those, those really heated team fights where you're just going to have to choose what two abilities do I want to use my Dao on? But uh, also, and, and you know, the poke game, because you can really be concise about when you throw your auto attacks and you use that Dao to, you know, plan to maybe poking your... Lo de los ticks me toca la polla, tío. If you pace yourself, take your time, reset, you know, build that Dao back up before the next fight, you're going to be a lot more effective than if you just come in there. Yeah. Pero, pero, de verdad, en plan, a dos manos, ¿sabes? That patience, that emperor -like patience. Well, ability two is going to make you also want to be patient <laughs> if you're going to want to get its full effects. Well, let's get into ability two, Dao cultivation. So in this one, this is really the biggest point where you can gain the most Dao at once. Uh, so Dao cultivation is basically... He intentado parar el streaming. Soy gilipollas. Get up to a cap. 
So you can see there the targeter is grayed out, and once it gets colored in, that's when you've gotten your first doll. But there's a lot of nice visual and audio sound effects that are going to be coming in to let you know when you've gained your cap, a sixth doll for ability cap. You can see actually in his passive meter that uh, the slots start filling up red. Yeah. So that starts showing you how much doll you will gain when you fire it. You cannot get any doll unless you fire it. Uh, so, for instance, if you were to get canceled out a bit, you wouldn't lose your cooldown, you yeah. wouldn't lose the mana, you would just need to charge up again to get the full amount of dowel. But, you can fire it early, you don't have to sit there and wait uh, for the dowel to gain uh, all the way up to 6. You can fire it early. There is a slight bit of reduced damage if you fire it too early though, so you want to make sure you're holding on to it for just the right amount of time before setting it off. Yeah. If you fire it before 1 second, you're going to get the reduction. If you wait the full 3 seconds, that's when you get all the dowel. Or you can just keep it charged and it's going to hold it for the right time. Exactly. And then this ability is going to do damage in the center um, narrow projectile area. Then the projectile itself, its its wake of energy explodes out, causing a, a second effect of damage in a wider area, and rooting the gods in the area. So this is also what his, his primary CC is. Yes, he's got a slow on the center rectangle, and on the outside is a root. So really the slow is just there to help you guarantee the root. If you hit that really thin skill shot, you will almost certainly guarantee the root unless they are on And low and root, or si acaso. Yeah. And again, I, I love Jade as as a look, as an, it's just so pleasing to me personally, and the amount of it that's worked into these abilities, I mean, that the green in that, like, center projectile before it erupts is just so pleasing to look at. That is such a, an aesthetic ability. Like, all, all utility and amazing use of just side. I just, looking at it, somebody will hit me and I'll be like, ow, that hurt, but was also really nice, I don't know. <laughs> so... Um, the next ability, which we also we, we kind of uh, foreshadow as a unique abil a movement ability, is yeah. it's very different. It has a very different feel, very different look, it handles very differently than pretty much anything we've done in Smite before. Yeah, and it's definitely one that stands out from the others. That's ability three, Celestial Flight. So uh, let's speak to Celestial Flight. Yeah, so in this ability, Yu Huang's actually going to be calling down, uh, I guess calling up the Pearl Dragon <laughs> from beneath him. Yeah. And uh, this, this use of the Pearl Dragon is actually really interesting as he ties into this lore because there's a very popular story about the... Lo del dragón no era la ulti? Uh, the rivers in Chinese mythos and how they came to be. So this is like that origin story kind of mixed in here. So the Pearl Dragon was really the first dragon to call upon the Emperor. Yo, que soy el tres! We were thirsty in need of water. There was a big drought. Uh, and so the Pearl Dragon went to the Jade Emperor and said, hey, you know, we, we need water for the people. And the Jade Emperor said, okay, well, I can get to that soon. I have a lot of other Imperial duties that I have to get to. Um, but eventually the dragons put him into themselves and Yu Huang was not too pleased with them going over his Imperial authority. So to punish them, he basically changed the four dragons into the four major Chinese rivers. Huh. That's really cool. Yeah, well, so the, the one that we have featured in the game is the Pearl Dragon of the Pearl River. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, look at that. I mean, the Pearl Dragon coming out of the ground, lifting him straight on up, and coming on down as well. So what you're seeing here is the attuned effect of this ability, where the Pearl Dragon actually comes back down with you and kind of swoops around there on the ground and knocks people away. What this is is actually a slow-moving self drops, Kind of like a juke. More than a leap, you get a, you get a relatively long window of untarget ability and um, CC immunity, but you don't really gain that much extra distance or speed. Yeah. Um, you cannot use this to go over walls either, uh, but you can go get use it to escape player made walls. Yeah. Um, and then upon landing, he's going to deal bonus damage, um, just in, uh, just or just damage in that circle, and with the attuned effect, you're going to get damage and a knockout. Salta muros. No. Yeah. O sea, el de Crono, o sea, el del Thor y Mir y esa mierda, intuyo que sí. You're up in the air, you're actually able to refire it by pressing the button again or by left clicking, so you go down faster. So you have complete control of how much time you spend in the air, whether that's the max amount, whether that's the minimum amount, or somewhere in between. Whenever you need to get back down, you're going to be able to. Yeah, that's awesome for, for, for both control and, you know, if you're using this offensively or defensively, right? If you're trying to, you know, use some Dow, get that knock up, then you can really just rain down on your enemies. But if you're like, all right, I got to get out of here. Odin just put up a wall. Uh, you can kind of glide right over and enjoy enjoy the, the max duration of that. Enemy. That's really, really cool to see. Yo no sé qué cojones está fumando Jairre. Yo no sé qué coño se están fumando metiendo el low root CC inmune volador con un no cap, tío. Pero esto qué es? Que el uno de Ra es un rayo para adelante. 
super excited about uh, us getting a closer <laughs> oh, look at this ult is called Dueling Dragon. And that they do. When you use this ultimate ability, Yu Huang summons the Pearl Dragon once more, but he also creates a dragon out of his own bow. ¿Habéis visto? ¿Habéis visto el año base de la ulti? Ah, mira. Me hace de inmune. <laughs> you basically have a hinged line targeter. So how this works is the far away dragon from you, the pearl dragon, doesn't actually move. But what you can do is you can aim the line in different directions. And uh, yeah, just I mean, look at that. That's amazing. That's so sick. He's scary, but he's the, also cool. The, like power stance. <laughs> yeah, right. The sparkling effect is incredible. Está guapardo el dios. Está guapísimo, hermano. The profile of the dragon too, like that, is just awesome. And you can see here hermano. they crash together, and then a big explosion. Oh, that's cool. Es que que fumadote, ¿no? That's awesome. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so if you're hit with this ability on either line, uh, you will get pushed to the center, wherever that center may be. So you'll see there, that circle is where they'll end. No me tiráis tú también, ¿no? Always there. So if you are spread apart or you pull the lines too far apart, they do have a max distance that each of them go, but you start pretty well within it. So if you want that extra explosion damage, you can have it, but you're not stuck to that uh, yeah. like straight line that you had. You can always turn around, move around, do whatever you need to do and make one really long line of push if you absolutely <laughs> wanted to. <laughs> That's really awesome. So you can push people toward him and push away with, away from him with this. And you know, we've always wanted to expand with an ability that spawns something further away that comes back to you. Yeah. We've never really done that before. So here you can get this um, ultimate. You get a lot of either long range poke or potentially even some control. You could you know kind of pluck someone out of yeah. the opposing lineup if you hit it well. You can also use it to heal for yourself. So if someone's right up on right up on your face and you need to get some space, you can use it to push them away. And they're going to take that extra explode damage as well. Um, and it's like can also kind of function as just a, a range skill shot where you have some very interesting angles on it that you don't normally get yeah. on a mage. Yeah, as we're showing up here, one of the ways that a lot of playtesters have been using it is to push their opponent Curioso, no? the tower. So if you're hiding into the tower against the Mufon, you better be ready for this one. <laughs> right, awesome. you, are, you aren't safe there. <laughs> um, you do have a significant amount of time where the dragon will spawn before it can fire, so if you know, go ahead and move perpendicularly to him to try to evade it, yeah. um, you can certainly do that. There's a, there's a lot of reactivity. No la puede fallar. Um, but we get Kion, no sé si te has dado cuenta que el Odin está quieto. Where he's aiming it, but he, it will have, it force him to refire. You cannot cancel it. Once you enter the state, you're gonna shoot it. Um, Christian, so it's just up to you to make that count in the time you have uh, before the ability uh, boots you. Yeah, so the one last thing to talk about with this ability is what happens when it's attuned. So Ooh. when Yu Huang is attuned and uses dueling dragons, yeah. he gets to have a wider projectile. So the path of the, uh, the dragon <laughs> stake, rather, is wider and uh, pretty significantly so. Yeah. so If you would like to push more people, hit more people with this, then by all means, make sure you're attuned before you use it and uh, get to fighting. So the attunement from the past is going to affect the base. Eh, la verdad que esta ulti tiene pinta de... Yeah. Exactly. O hace pil o hace pil. Poco otra cosa. Everything is consumed and uh, has to be regained from this other generation. Yeah, it's all part of the cycle. And uh, like you said, three ways to gain it, three ways to use it. That's incredible too. Just, just to see that utility throughout the entire kit, it gives you so much to work with. So many different ways you can handle using Dao uh, for attuning your abilities. Like, oh, like I can. This, I'm excited to see this in team fights. Because, this is not from my you know, pluck a backliner with this, or shoot, you could even just throw it out there and push a tank off to the side. You know, you have a clear shot at the at, at their damage. It's just so many different ways you can use this. That it, it's going to be incredible to see this, and I, I love seeing the community take. Somebody with as many options available to them as this new god here, as Yu Wong, and, uh, and make up new plays. And, you know, I, I think we're going to see a lot of that with this. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited to see what we can do with this god. This, is, uh, this has been a really awesome experience for me, having the ability to design. ¿Cómo se ganquea esto? No se ganquea. ¿Qué va a ganquear, hermano? Te hace así. Te ha dado por culo. Y se va a su casa, Guido. En el Himalaya. Como el 3. <tose> 